What's up, everybody? This is Martin P.K. It is Byron Cage. Pastor Helen Yorson. Zajete Adan. I'm Todd Delaney. I'm Doa Zumbabo, and you're watching EC12.1 TV. Preaching Christ through entertainment. You make Christianity so much fun. Stay tuned. Okay, wonderful people of God, you are all welcome to the exclusive we show on EC12 and TV. My name is John Sosain. Now on exclusive with, um, what we do is that we hang out with great men and women of God, um, people who are transforming lives, um, people who are impacting the world. And so today we are fortunate to have a very special guest, unique. I'm not going to mention the name yet. Um, let's go and take a look at a short video. And when we come back, I will officially introduce my guest. We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. I'm sure by now you know or you have an idea of who we are going to be interviewing. Yes, um, my guest actually reminds me of a joke I had um, somewhere around last year. Uh, it's a very short one. There was this white lady who came to Ghana and then she went to a hotel, you know, for the normal service. And, you know, what is expected is that after, the, after she's been served, you just give some small tips, you know, some small dollar tips. And then this waitress was with a, with a, with a white lady expecting that after she has served her, she's going to tip, you know, some small. And then this white lady stands up and she's leaving. So the guy or the lady is pissed. And then he wants to get back at the white lady. So he or, or she decides to get back to her in a local dialect. She was like, ah, don't you pa. Yeah, boy, I serve you see any so man. And then the white lady turned and said, Ube si menis, ube si. Rabi si menis. I know you don't understand, but don't anyway, really yes. After the show, you can be best friends here. So be careful what you say in your local dialect. You don't know who, who might understand you right there. So um, with me today, I have, um, okay, no, let me not introduce her. She's going to introduce herself. Oh, <laughs> hi everyone. Bonjour à tous. My name is Simeon. I'm a French gospel artist. Okay. Yeah, and I'm so honored to be in Ghana. Very honored. Great. So, Simeon, nice having you on set. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Right. So, we have a lot to talk about, but unfortunately, we can't consume everything. So, we just go in bits, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, you are a gospel artist. Yes. French-based. Yes. Now, let's do a little biography. Let's get to know you. I mean, some people, we've seen, you know, excerpts of you here and there, but mm -hmm. then let's get to know Simeon. Okay, I was born in a Christian family, so okay. my two parents are pastors, and I grew up in a home church so that was in the living room of my parents. Okay. So I can say it's a privilege to grow like this. And at five years old, God uh, spoke to me and gave me two visions that are actually directing my whole life. Uh, I saw myself singing on stage at five years old, so singing on stage, and there were a lot of people, and people were getting healed. And the second vision I had, uh, I was seeing myself walking in Africa and speaking, I wasn't speaking French, so I guess I was speaking either English or the dialects, yeah. And I was working with them and collaborating and I was feeling it was my family, you know. So I grew up with this desire of um, singing and I knew that I have something to do with Africa. Okay. So I went to study music, but not in... It wasn't my main stuff. I was still studying like the normal, you yeah. know, the normal way, high school yeah. and all of this. But I learned how to play piano. I wasn't interested much in piano, but I wanted to sing and be able to compose. So I 
Yeah, I learned music and I was very passionate about music. And I started singing jazz as well. And I went to, the first time I really ministered like on my own yeah. I was when I turned 17. Okay. It was in Paris, a very big conference. And um, the guest was actually a um, Nigerian pastor but that is based here and is oh. actually now my spiritual dad. Okay. So Dr. Abu Bakr. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, yes. wow, wow. So, and from there, he invited me to Ghana and this is how four years ago it happened so the very first time you ministered in africa was in ghana yeah oh yes. okay okay yeah okay. which year which year is this um 2015 2015 yeah okay yeah. right <laughs> okay so um now you are a full-time gospel minister i am based in france well since it's actually recent though okay yeah okay. since june okay actually. since june yeah that's when you decided to, that's when you decided to i was studying time. but yeah okay okay so now you are you are into full-time full -time. music full-time full -time. music since june mm -hmm. okay right so um since you 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 decided to go into full-time gospel music um let me just say in france i mean you are you were based in france so gospel music in france since you started doing it how how we don't hear much about gospel music in France. How how are people receiving gospel music? It's in France? because there is nothing. Actually, there is nothing. There is nothing. Like it's very little. The most stuff will be based in Paris, but it's still not. You know, uh, actually, faith in France is very hard. You have a lot of Catholicism and yeah. very religious or Islam. Yeah. This is like the two things. Okay. But we don't have like in France when you have a big church, it's like you have two hundred people. And it's like a big church for them. Wow. So when you don't travel, you feel like, oh, okay, that's fine. But when, like me, when I travel, I'm, I'm like, ah. What's happening? Wow. Here? Yeah. yeah. So everything is really, um, let me say, closed in France. But this year, God told me that he's opening France to me. And wow. literally, Amen. Two weeks, I got connected to the big managers, the guys that are organizing the big stuff from yeah. international artists yeah. to come to Paris. Yeah. So I'm connected with them. So now if you come to Paris, you will see my face will be everywhere. Wow. So I think I'm, I want to, since there is nothing, I want to start something in France. So I started with my church, um, uh, Urban Gospel Festival. That okay. was the first time happening in France. Wow. But I'm based in southern France though, okay. close to Marseille. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, we have to do stuff so we are starting here so the um um christianity in france is not that strong so, not yeah, at all very well so when you decided to venture into gospel music were you not um, frightened by the fact that you know this thing is not accepted here i mean how would the people accept me well but didn't you have any fears moving into um gospel music then? i didn't have because god spoke to me about the african community and the african community wherever they are in the world they will always gather and praise god so even in france i work with african community because white people they say that I, I make too much noise and bah, they can't receive me so yeah. but no i i wasn't god told me that he will send me yeah. and it's funny how god can send you and in your own country you're not really as sure. accepted yeah, yeah but you are learning a lot you are getting a lot of experience to come back stronger and do something and do a revolution in france so no no fear great <laughs> so um you know, when you were five, you, you had dreams or you had visions mm -hmm. that you were in Africa. And so that was what, um, that was what gave you a sort of guidance growing yeah. up. That mean, you knew you had a connection yeah. to Africa. So how did you start um, preparing towards, I mean, how did you start getting the connections? Because I know you, you, are, you, are, you are linked to the likes of um, Tim Goffrey, yeah. to um, Joe Metal, yeah. to Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How did you, how did you, um, you know, start these connections? It happened, to be honest, it's grace, 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 because I've been working with African communities and to be honest, the connection with Tim Godfrey was a miracle. Yeah. Like I ministered in Uganda, okay. a big, like the biggest church in Uganda called me. And they, so they brought me there and I started ministering some song and I ministered one of the, one of his songs like, you are so good to me. Yeah. And I was like, let me just send him this video on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I sent him and within three minutes he replied wow. and he said, okay, WhatsApp me and stuff. I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I was like, wow. And Joe, we met uh, when I was in Ghana, okay. like three years ago, I think. And we got really, really connected. So, and since there, everyone is like contacting me and all of this so yeah 
I, I can't explain to you how it happened. It's just grace. So how is your experience like, um, you know, ministering on a very big stage like um, Impact um, and Fearless? Well, it's good. I, I don't really see a difference because I, I don't know, growing up in the home church, I'm used to small stage and big ones. I don't, I don't know. I don't have... It's good. So at I'm, home, you have a small stage and then all of a sudden you are ministering to over, um, over 50,000, yeah. if, if I'm not exaggerating, yeah, yeah. over 50,000 you know, crowd. So yeah. didn't it shake you? No. It didn't? No, because oh. of the visions I had. I okay. knew that it would happen. It would so. happen. So you, you, you prepared yourself for it? Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I prepared myself, but I'm not... That kind of stuff is not impressive to me. Mm. I don't, mm. I'm just here to worship God, so I'm just focused on it. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> now let's come to your personal music. Do you have um, a personal, you know, song or an album? Yeah, I have name? an album. Yeah. Okay. That I, I gave birth to it uh, at the beginning of the year. It was a terrible process because I studied it in Ghana. Okay. And the guys would delay it, delay <laughs> the Ghanaian time. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, this one here. <laughs> delay, oh. delay, delay. My Ghana people. <laughs> But I had in my heart to do it in Africa, at okay. least to start it. But after this, I brought it to London and, and France. Uh, but now I'm, I thank God because I have my own studio yeah. with my two brothers. Okay. So now we are working like on our own. But yeah, I have, I have nine songs. Like the album has nine songs. And there is one tree song inside actually that I wrote. Okay. And I'm planning on shooting the video in Ghana quite soon. Wow, that's so. that's that's great. That's great. Um, you're gonna sing that tree song for us now, but uh, it should be, you know, exclusive. <laughs> Easy talk on TV. So at the end of the show, you're gonna do something small for us, right. and you'll be singing that particular tree song all right. for us. Okay. So um, uh, this is all you get on Easy Talk and whatever you are tuned in, the best Christian entertainment TV show out there. Can I do a song for Nigerians? I don't know if they know it, but you can sing it with me. Do you have any intentions of moving to Africa permanently? I was thinking about it, but God spoke to me about being based in France, okay. actually. Because I know I've, if he made me French, it's for a reason. So I think uh, I have to be based in France, but definitely moving. Yeah, maybe maybe I will move like three years in Africa. So you, I don't know which kind. I'm actually hesitating between Ghana and Nigeria. But I don't want to bring any war. <laughs> Then you guys will start talking about Jollof and all. I'm like, no, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. No, this one just, just, it's just between. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I like the two country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm very in love with the energy of Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know. Right. So um, your projects. Are you what? What? What projects are you? Are you um, embarking on as of now? Okay. Um, I keep working on making this festival in France bigger and bigger because I want it to be the main gate. And as you are growing, I can be able like to bring the African artists that I want as well. Uh, I'm working also on a lot of songs, actually. So now I, I'm not going to do an album right now, but many like songs in different languages. It's actually funny how uh, my video went viral. Yeah. I got connected to a lot of guys and it's bringing a lot of projects mm -hmm. as well uh i'm supposed to be back to nigeria with tim okay. as well okay. yeah um yeah a lot a lot a lot, a lot going on a lot going on your video is is really trending in, in i'm Ghana. surprised yeah, it's really really trending you are I'm now surprised. a superstar you are you are, you are, <laughs> you are, you are, you are a superstar in ghana right now um if you've not if you've not seen the video um you saw or uh, you see simian singing um, what's, what's, what's the song? Okay, the first was Yes, um, yum, yeah, oh, you are with me, oh, you are with me, yeah. Okay. And then the second, second one. Oh, goma, say, yeah. And I think, yeah, the last one was Yes, we were so, yeah. Oh,
that's not a Ghanaian language itself that changed. Not so well. It's just, it's just a song. Yeah, yeah like that. that I. Anytime I learn a song, I try to get the meaning, of course. Yeah. But I can't speak tree though. I can't speak. But I. So if I ask you a about what you say. Me that's it. Oh, great. So you see. It's very big. <laughs> small, small. I knew it. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, but I speak a bit more of Nigerian. Okay. Dialect, yeah. Wow. Not very well though, but yeah, definitely. Right, so um, the way forward, I mean, you, um, what should we expect from Simeon in the next um, two, three years to come? What should we expect from you? More songs, my own songs. Um, you will hear them in French, English, and African dialects. I believe that it's the time for Africa. And I thank God I'm French because I can actually speak the two languages. Um, I know that I will be. Um, going and traveling with a lot of prophets and big people as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it has started with Action yeah. Chapel actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause yeah. Papa is asking me to move with him okay. to some places some place. where they speak yeah. French as well. Wow. So this, and I always do a difference between show and ministrations. Sure. So shows, you can expect a lot of things happening in France. Mm -hmm and the US and Africa. Yeah. And ministration, I think a bit everywhere. I'm a, I'm a church girl. Yeah. I like going yeah. and just flow yeah. for hours, so yeah. yeah. All right, so um, we, are, we are just about ending this <laughs> exciting interview. Um, before then, uh, you, you can drop your final words and then we'll come to you doing some small singing for us. <laughs> just do some bits. And so guys, I just want to thank all of you for the love and the support you are bringing to my ministry. I'm trying really to reply to all of your messages, but there are so many. But I really thank God for uh, Africa and for all of you. So God bless you and see you soon. You soon you know. No kwa ne kwa na I don't know how so me so wo fa ta wo fa ta na wo to me so can you remember this wo fa ta Oh, Fata, come on. Oh, Fata, now won't to me so. Oh, Fata, oh, Fata, oh, Fata, now won't to me so. Yeah, well done. That's great. You like it? Yeah, that's a nice song. <laughs> Who wrote the song? You wrote it yourself? Or I, you wrote I, it like, in English and then I, you, had, you had some Yeah, like I heard the melody and I was like, I want to speak like about God as the truth. Yeah, yeah. Jesus as the truth, the way and the light. Yeah. And so I asked one of my friends in Sunyani, so shout out to Boaz, who wrote the song with me. He right. says in Sunyani. Yeah. Sunyani. Yeah. yeah, and he's a real local man, yeah. village man. Yeah, so he literally <laughs> put, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> so he put the lyrics on it, yeah, and it's, it's just, yeah. It's wonderful. I think this is okay. You shouldn't do it in your song. This is okay. I know you have a lot of followers now. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Um, for those of you who do not know you yet and want to follow you, kindly let out your social media handles and then you will talk about your album too briefly if it has been released. What are the platforms? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so my handle is Simeon Music. So everything is similar. I don't have Twitter though, okay. uh, and I'm not very, <laughs> I'm not very active on Facebook. But please follow me on Instagram. So Simian Music, yeah. Music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So your Simian is spelled S I M I A N E and, and music. music, yes. There's no space, just Simian mm -mm. Music. Simian music. Right, Simian music. So follow her on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. And then your songs, yeah, the album. Yes, it's available on all online music platforms. So Deezer, Spotify. I don't know if you guys have Spotify. Yeah. yeah. Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music. Mm -mm. And, I'm, I, and I start releasing some on YouTube. So my YouTube channel is Simian Music as well. Okay. So everything is Simian Music. Everything is Simian Music. <laughs> all right, so um, follow her on Instagram, Facebook. She has a lot more fantastic stuff for you. 
uh, the song she just sang here is amazing. I mean, I just can't wait to lay my hands on that. And then, you know, I'll, I'll soak myself in that song. <laughs> it's a powerful song already, even though I've not heard a full song. It's, it's, it's a great one. So, um, Simeon, Sip, Simeon. 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 It's been wonderful having you in the studios. God bless you so much for making Thank time. you so much. Thank you. We appreciate your time and your efforts being here. And then whenever you hit Ghana, of course, we'll link up with you once Thank more. Thank you so much. And then we'll have you know, some more extended chats. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, staying or tuning into EC12 One TV. This has been an exclusive with show on EC12 One TV. This interview is going to be rolling on YouTube. The extended version is going to be rolling on YouTube. So make sure that you visit the YouTube page. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit that small button. There's a bell. Just hit it, subscribe, and then you get more exciting and amazing interviews with great and super fantastic personalities. This has been Jones Osain, your host for today. Catch you next. Hey, Queen and Yami. <laughs> Catch you next time, same time, and see you. See it again, Bonnie.